If we wipe away our belief system that we are here to have a good time, to make money, to create success, whether that's success in a form of financial terms, luxury terms, good lifestyle, good friends, and good partner that you have, if we wipe away all those belief system, the truth of it is that we're here to experience and we're here to remember and raise our level of consciousness remember why we are here, what we came here to do. And Earth is evolving into the fifth dimension, to the new Earth. A lot of the stuff that I come across, everyone is consistently talking about the new Earth. The ancients is talking about the new Earth from 3D to 5D. So everyone's talking what D and 3D, 4D, 5D and all these things. And even the word Gaia for a long time, I've never heard of that term. Everyone seems to know it. And there's no argument this planet is called Gaia. But yet, most of us never knew this. <laughs> How come they never taught it at school? So I'm going to read a bit of the passage. Um, Each person will be having their individual test. Some will be left behind. It sounds cruel, but it, it's not. Each soul is given a chance. If they're not moving and evolving, it's because they chose to. They chose to just remain here. It is all okay, as this is all okay. They will stay on Earth and still have negative karma to work out. The new Earth is so beautiful. You will see colors, animals, and flowers you never imagined possible. There will be trees of purple and orange in trunks, beautiful rivers and lakes. You will see fruits that are perfect food. You don't need to cook it. You can just eat as is. These food will be a delight to the senses and nutritious at the same time. There's been many things done to our food that is not good for us. The organic food and farmers coming onto the earth as part of this evolution. Consciousness is being raised about this. New earth is not this dimension. It's a new dimension. The ones left behind will go through hardship and continue to learn more about their karmic lessons. We're going to the fifth dimensional world. This is filled with peace and harmony. It is important for us not to focus on what will happen here and to the people who will be left behind. This is the challenge for the people that is going to the new earth. When they focus on what will happen to the third dimension, it will pull them back to the 3D. That's what happened to many people. They got caught on fear, the regret, instead of focusing on the good stuff. We got to focus on the light. Majority of people would not move to the new earth based on current trajectory. The actual numbers of people to some extent is not important though. It is what it is. That's why so many of us is doing this work, acting like Christ spreading the word to other disciples and then they will go and spread to others many are not awakened yet including entire countries there's more that are happening to assist in awakening than what people know about there's been some countries where many people are being persecuted and to define persecution i looked at wikipedia which means subject someone to hostility and ill treatment, especially because of their race or political or religious beliefs. So think about it. They say there's more that's happening to assist in the awakening than what people know about. There's been some countries where many people are being persecuted. And it says the reason this is happening is to awaken spirituality as persecution causes this to happen. When people are being persecuted or when they are facing huge human feats, it triggers and awakens people. That's the purpose of much of the persecution happening right now, to make sure that these people are awakened. The seemingly unjust event occurring in the world is all part of a test. A test for us to separate ourselves from the events. 
we have to create our own universe. If we keep it in peace and in balance, we have passed the test. Those things that are happening in the world is really to test the whole. Don't get caught up in the fear. Turn off the news. If everyone creates peace and harmony in their own universe, this is the energy of the fifth dimensional earth. The more who can create peace and harmony in the 3D, the more that will be going to the 5D earth. The one that cannot find peace and harmony here, those have not passed the test and will not be moving on to the new earth. It doesn't matter what happened in the material world, like COVID, corruption, wars, it is all a game, all a test. These events are all happening right now for a reason, to test each human being and where they are in at their own evolution. If we hold peace internally, we don't have to worry about the external as it is all an illusion anyway. But right now, it all feels very real, doesn't it? Well, this is the job for each individual to find peace. In spite of mass shooting, pollution, and all the stuff that's going on, the more people we can bring together to spread peace and harmony, this is the aim of the game. All you need to do is to focus on creating your own heaven on earth. Each individual creating their own heaven on earth and then expanding the energy out. Before you know it, you have changed the world. What you focus on is what you create and expand. Focus on peace. Focus on positive thoughts. When a negative thought comes in, then just let it go, but to replace it with a positive thought. We have to teach others to do this. If we can get people to think of the conflict in the Middle East as a movie, for every action, we can make an opposite reaction. Where there's truth or where there's birth, there's death. We must let go of any act of greed, any domination, any materialism. Any of those issues that stops them from doing this work must be let go. As these issues will not matter in the new world, there's not going to be any money in the new world, so why bother with it anyway? Those who are working for this universe will be provided for. Let go of the notion of working to get the money. You are working to change the earth, to save the situation. This is where the driving force must be. It must come from love and service. It's the only way that we will maximize this effort. So that's, I guess, a big part of the passage I wanted to share and I had a few lines in there. But you can see that it's consistent with the law of wonder, especially the ending. It must come from love and service. We're going to the fourth grade, the fourth density, which is the density of love. We're to learn about love and we're transitioning there. It's about service to others. So on the other end of the spectrum, you've got the people that extreme polar opposite, the elite or the Illuminati or whatever, they focus on service to self. They help to create that polar opposite to help us wake up, to create this game. If we have just a positive battery with no negative, it's not a battery. You can't have the same thing that a battery does with just a positive. So the positive and negative, it works well together to create that charge the charge that we came here in the third dimensional earth to learn the lessons. But again, it's time to evolve and move on.